Hi everyone and welcome to another Doctor Who item review by me Mega Shots. Now today I'm not going to be reviewing a Doctor Who action figure but one of the new Doctor Who maxi busts and as you can see it is the Doctor Who Masterpiece Collection 11th Doctor 8 inch limited edition maxi bust made by Titan Merchandise. Now I got this bust recently from the shop at the Dot2 Experience for £50. The particular version that I have here is the Dot2 Experience limited edition variant which features a burgundy bow tie, a red shirt and burgundy braces. The other versions of this bust come with blue shirts, blue bow ties and blue braces instead. This is my first Doctor Who bust. I think it is a really good addition to my Doctor Who item collection. I'm really pleased with it and I'm really glad that I decided to get it while I was in there because initially when I went to the Doctor Who experience I wasn't actually thinking of buying this but I'm really glad I did in the end. The bust is 8 inches tall as I said before so it's about 3 inches taller than the 5 inch figures from character options. As you can see it features the 11th Doctor posing with his sonic screwdriver accessory which we're going to take a close look at later on in the video but for now we're going to take a look at the package. So if we take a look at the front we can see a picture of the 11th Doctor bust, the normal version which features a blue bow tie and blue shirt though. On the top left corner we can see a sticker telling you that this is the Burgundy bow tie variant, which is exclusive to the Doctor Who experience. Also got the BBC logo, and then at the bottom you've got the Doctor Who logo and the name of the character. On one of the sides, we can see pictures of all the different versions you can get of the 11th Doctor bust. You've got this one at the top, which is just the normal version, which you can get pretty much anywhere, featuring the Alumph Doctor with his blue shirt, blue bow tie and sonic screwdriver. In the bottom right corner you have a very similar version but with a dummy Jodger instead of the sonic screwdriver. This is the Victory of the Daleks variant by the way. And then in the bottom left corner you've got a picture of the one I have which is the burgundy bow tie variant which is exclusive to the Doctor Who experience. Then if we take a look at the back we can see all the other upcoming Doctor Who maxi busts such as the 10th Doctor, the 4th Doctor, 3rd Doctor, Amy Pond, Weeping Angel, Earthshock Cyberman and also Captain Jack from Tortured and you've got the Titan merchandise logo down there. Also shows you some pictures of the Lamp of Doctor Bust from various angles on this side of the box and it also tells you a little bit about it down there. Then at the bottom it just tells you some product company information and that's pretty much it for the packaging for now. Okay, so here we have the Burgundy Bowtie variant of the Lamp of Doctor Maxi Bust. Now I think this is just a repainted version of the bust which features the 11th Doctor with his blue bow tie, blue shirt and blue braces. All the sculpting is exactly the same and all the paintwork is exactly the same but obviously not for the burgundy bow tie, the shirt and also the braces. And now it's time for us to take a look at the detailed paintwork and sculpting of this amazing item. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the head sculpt. Now, I think the head sculpt on this bust is just absolutely incredible. The likeness to Matt Smith is spot on. If we take a look at it up close, we can see that the facial features have been painted incredibly well, especially the eyes which have the detail of the green and black pupils and the little white dots within the eyes there. I really like the facial expression he has as well. Looks like he's really concentrating on taking a look at the readings on his sonic screwdriver. The hair has also been made very nicely. It's been sculpted really well. I really like the bumpy texture that it has and I really like the little side bends which can be found just on the sides of his ears. It's been painted with dark brown on one layer and light brown over the top giving it this really nice realistic look. Here's a look at it from various angles. I don't think the company that made this bust could have done any better for this head sculpt. It just looks amazing. doesn't need any improvements at all. It's been sculpted really well and the paintwork and detail is just absolutely amazing. That is pretty much it for the head sculpt for now and now we're going to take a look at his clothes. So if we start by taking a look at his bow tie we can see that it has been painted with a nice dark burgundy colour. This is the bow tie that the Lemmoth Doctor has worn in many episodes from series 5. 
So that's the bow tie. I don't even need any improvements because it, obviously it's such a small part of the bust, but it's been sculpted and painted really well. It looks really nice and it stands out really well against the pale shirt. So now if we move on to his shirt, we can see that it's been painted with a very, very light red colour with some dark red stripes which go all the way down to where his trousers come into place. The stripes have been painted really nice and carefully, they're all nice and straight. And also on the clothes we can see some other bits of detail like the collar at the top, the white buttons which go down to the trousers as well, and even loads of creases which help to make it look really lifelike. That's pretty much it for the shirt, um, but now if we take a quick look at his braces, we can see that they are also burgundy. Well, this bust actually only has one brace. Um, on the camera, it does look like quite a dark burgundy, but it is pretty much the same shade as the bow tie. You've also got the detail of the silver buckles, which attach to the trousers. Looks really nice. I really like the fact that the jacket is sort of slipped a bit to reveal the braces on the bust. Um, if the braces weren't actually showing on this bust, I think I wouldn't have liked it as much because the braces are a great feature of the Lament Dots' outfit, in my opinion. That's pretty much it for the shirt and bow tie and braces. Um, great features of the bust. really like the way they've been painted and they all have some really nice bits of detail. So if we take a look at his tweed jacket now, we can see there is a fairly lightish brown colour, just like how it was in Series 5. It's got some really nice detail as well, like the lapels just near the shirt, the pocket on the right hand side here, the creases on both sleeves making it look very lifelike, the two buttons at the bottoms of each of the sleeves, the dark brown elbow pads, the pockets at the bottom, the buttonholes, and also many more creases and lines on the back. So, like the shirt, the jacket is yet another really highly detailed part of the bust. I don't think it needs any improvements whatsoever. The paintwork on it is absolutely stunning and it has some really nice detail like the creases and all the buttons and various other features from the tweed jacket that Lamp of Doctor wore in Series 5, well, at least one of them. Really nice part of the bust, uh, just looks absolutely brilliant. And I'd actually quite like to see a variant of this bust without the tweed jacket. I mean, I absolutely love the tweed jacket on this bust, but I think it'll be interesting to see a jacketless version of this particular Lamp of Doctor bust in the future. Okay, so that's it for the tweed jacket, and now we're going to take a quick look at his trousers and his hands. Okay, so if you take a look at the trousers of the Lamp of Tops bus now, we can see that there is not much of them, but they still look really nice. If we take a look at the top, we can see the little button and the lines going down the middle and up the sides. We can also see some nice creases and even the pocket just by the tweed jacket there. And then at the bottom you've got this nice gold base which is attached to the bust and cannot be removed. I don't know exactly what it's meant to be, but I think it might be the bottom of the 11th Doctor's TARDIS console. It looks really nice, it's been painted with a nice metallic gold colour. There's pretty much nothing else I can say about it really. It just looks really nice. Obviously not a very interesting feature of the bust, but it still looks really nice. So now if we move back up on the 11th Doctor's bust, we can see that his left hand has been sculpted so that it is open, like as if he is about to grab something, or he's just trying to pose dramatically. The hand is really nicely detailed, got some nice creases in the skin and the detail of the fingernails. The same can be said for his right hand, but as you can see his right hand does also feature the sonic screwdriver. Now the sonic screwdriver on the Lump Talks bust is amazing, it looks exactly like the prop from the show. It's got some really nice detail like the various bronze parts, the white part near the middle, the black part in the middle where the buttons are, the little green bits towards the top and the claws at the top. As you can see it is an open version of the sonic screwdriver. It's a really nicely detailed part of the bust, it isn't removable by the way, it is part of the same sculpt. The 
paintwork on it is also really nice and it's been sculpted so well looks exactly like the one that Matt Smith uses in the show I don't think it needs any prints whatsoever It'd be quite interesting to see a closed version of this for any future 11th Dr Maxi bus really nice part of the figure really pleased with how it looks and it's just so good that this has been included with the bust. I think if it was just the lump flux standing by itself, I probably wouldn't have been very interested in it, but the sonic screwdriver makes it even more worth buying. It's just such a great part of the bust. And now it's time to give a summary of my thoughts on this amazing collectible item. So, overall, I think the Doctor Who masterpiece maxi bust of the lump Doctor is a absolutely incredible item slash addition to my Doctor Who collection. I think that this has made me definitely consider buying some more of the Doctor Who Maxi Bus which will be coming out in the future. This is actually my first ever Doctor Who bus and before I didn't actually have much interest in these kind of items but buying this has definitely made me consider buying some of the ones which will come out in the future like the 10th Doctor One, the 4th Doctor One and also the so and also the Earthshock Cyberman one. The detail on this particular Alamph Doctor bust is just absolutely incredible. As I said before, the head sculpt has a really great likeness of Matt Smith. The paintwork on it is also absolutely incredible, especially on the facial features, the hair, and also many parts of the clothes, and even the brilliant sonic screwdriver. The sculpting is also absolutely incredible. It has all the detail that it needs to be to be a really nice, accurate representation of the Lamp of Doctor in one of his outfits from Series 5. I really like the burgundy bow tie, the buttons, the pockets and all the other little bits of detail on the Lamp of Doctor head sculpt and also various parts of his outfit. And to be honest, I don't think this bust needs any improvements whatsoever. It is just a absolutely incredible item. I really like the pose which it has been made to stand in. The detail on it is just absolutely amazing the paintwork is also absolutely incredible and this is an item that i'd recommend to just about anyone that is a fan of the lamp doctor played by matt smith as long as you will be careful with this because trust me you do not want to break this so if i was to give the doctor who masterpiece collection a lamp doctor maxi bust a rating out of 10 i'd say i'd quite happily give it a 10 out of 10 this is just a absolutely amazing addition to my doctor who item collection, I don't think it needs any improvements and there are so many things I like about it. If I have any more comments about this bust or any criticisms I may have about it, I will put them below in the comments section or maybe in YouTube video annotations. But for now, that's all I can say about it. I know I haven't said, oh, this could be improved or that looks bad. And that's because I think it just looks fine the way it is. I'm just so pleased with it, definitely worth the price of £50 in my opinion and I think I'll definitely get some more of these busts in the future. By the way this burgundy bow tie variant is a Doctor Who experience exclusive as I said before so don't expect to find it easily anywhere else. Thanks for watching this with you YouTubers. If you'd like to share your comments on this Lamp Dr Maxi bust please feel free to do so in the comments section below or maybe in a video response you'd like to make. Thanks for watching this review, YouTubers, and I shall see you again soon. And by the way, my next top two figure review will be the Cyberman with limb damage with lightning effect hands from closing time.